What do you teach? Me, the Jew. First thing I want you to do is this. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. See? See? That, that, that's what I want you to do. Because now I know you don't know what to do. All right, now. As soon as you see a trap, you teach this. Run and jump or run. Come on. Come Because once they commit, they always come. Now what do we got under here? We got four on three. No matter what set you are, you now got a four on three. So the first thing we tell our guys is keep your dribble and step back and take the trap back. And now we have an advantage under here. The second thing, you lose your dribble. The first thing you do when you lose your dribble, be good. Is take it now. Now watch what happens. One minute. Now, come forward. Six foot. Six foot. I'm six foot. Now watch. Watch the foot. Get your arms up. Get your arms up. Inside. Now watch. Now watch what happens. Watch. See, as he steps down, you're going to get the stairs. Come on. Roll the hands up. I usually in camp, I do this with guys six, seven, and seven foot. So you can understand. Always take the trap down. Now watch. Once you take the trap down, now you can curl nice. You can reverse, pass, you can take them down, possibly split them. See? Take the trap down. Now who's the boss? You are, not the trap. Don't pick the ball up and put it over your head. <coughs> Next thing, the guy in the position, you use it up. Now watch. Don't go. I just watch it. No, no, we'll stay right here. Get in the corner. He, he's on my side. Here comes the trap. Don't trap off the dribble. Because if you let guys trap off the dribble, watch what happens. As they come, you pass over the trap. See how high the pass got to go? The bad guy can get them. You never let them pass off the dribble because the bad guy on any good trap will catch that floater. You make it. If you want to go over the trap, you see it, come pick it up and go over the trap. And if he commits with a ball play, that bad guy who's underneath, if he commits with a ball play, you still have the ball. And you can run in behind. Number one, always take it back. Number two, if you lost your dribble, take it down, and now look for your curl, look for your reverse, look for your curl, step through. Because remember, you can pick up your inventory as long as you pass. Or shoot. Remember, I'm teaching. All right, now, now that is critical. Why? because everybody is running some kind of traps in that on the side, whether it's zone trap or out of a 2-3 zone or 1-2-2, two, two, they're trapping on the sides now, or they're coming at you with half-court traps. You never want your kids to be framed.